evening. So we're at Park Up 4, um, which uh, like last night's Park Up, we're at another river. And um, we're the only people here again, which is lovely. I did come by the river because I wanted to film the chorus of frogs, but the minute I got the camera out, it went completely quiet, which is typical. So I missed my opportunity there. So yeah, not a very long drive. So we've driven uh, about two and a half hours today uh, with a stop off at Roman Ruins for about half an hour or so. So we're gonna look in the mole hills now. We found a few bits of pottery. Sorry about the shadow. There we go. What you got, Rose? Uh, lots of pottery. And just there was a Roman marketplace. <laughs> and uh, we also went to Aldi. Um, which for those of you thinking of coming over um, most people wearing masks uh, but there weren't very many people in there but generally speaking um, when we're driving around uh, it seems that most people aren't wearing masks but whether they're wearing them inside um, I haven't been to enough places yet to verify uh, but it's all very chilled lots of people around everyone seems to be going about their normal business doesn't seem to be anything really covid -y around in terms of the vibe. People seem to be uh, back to normal-ish. <laughs> you look like you're going to go and rob them. <laughs> yeah, there's a picture from Shiner this morning and he had a skull and crossbones one on with his Stetson. And uh, he looked like he was going to rob them too. Hello. I feel like a train robber. Look like one. Yeah. <laughs> Rosie says she'd like to come too. So I'm off to ALB with my mask on. Never worn a mask out before. A few people wearing masks, but a sensible thing to do. Contain the spread. So I shall see you shortly with snacks. Yep. <laughs> right, see you in a minute. See you in a minute. Okay. little next time. Oh no, why? Well Aldi's always a bit odd, so they had no crackers at all, <laughs> which is very odd. No breadsticks, no peanut butter. They had toffee in a maple syrup bottle though, which I couldn't get because it was milky. We've got everything else, 34 euros, so not too bad. And that included, they had no cider, so I got you two sangrias. Ka-ching! Lucky Missy! I got nice tea! Oh. Anyway. Oh, tea and, oh, lots of fruits and vegetables. Mm, look at this French bread. Oh, I've missed this. Olive Carrots, oh. olives, Ooh. garlic, yeah, cheese. That. That's not bad for 34 euros. Yes. It's It's a little van snack. So I've got an epic tomato. Another good. And then we've got some French bread which was still warm when we got it. So I've cut that up. And then we've got garlic cheese. Mm, not for vegans. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this tomato. <laughs> I chose it! busy in certain parts in the bigger towns and the rural areas have been um, again very quiet very peaceful roads very quiet generally in comparison to the UK so a lovely drive um, so if I pan around uh, behind me you can see the river is there um, and go back round and uh, the van is behind me just with some trees uh, but basically a uh, little road another track at the side of the river um, and there's probably 
hundreds of places you can park along the road. It goes for quite a way. But fine for all vans, probably even quite big Heimery type vans get down there, no problem. A bit bumpy. Just gonna have a little drink. I've had a few sangria. We've had, <laughs> I've had a few sangria. Um, we had a bit of a problem with the inverter, a big problem with the inverter, and that keeps showing the alarm and turning off, and then the, um, the breakers in the consumer unit tripped. And we tested all the plug sockets, and we tested all the different things we were plugging into it, and we tested the inverter various ways, so it, it looks like it's working, the green light's on, but if you dare plug anything else in other than the actual little plug that we're using to test it, then it trips. So. It's not such a bad thing, it means I can't use my blender, that's no big deal, I don't use it that often, but it also means we can't charge up our laptops, which is a big deal, because we need them for work and for making videos, which is our other work, and uh, yeah, so it's all a bit, a bit poo, really, so we've got to try and find an inverter in southern France. Woo! You have a good run? Yeah! How are you enjoying <laughs> van life? Well, it's, it's good. Yeah. Are you glad to be back on the road? Yeah. Definitely. Yep. Definitely Have you had any bad news today? A lot. Our inverter needs replacing, meaning no more Skyrim. So I'm not happy, Chappy. Almost speechless. So yeah, long short is uh, when I got up this morning, I did a load of editing video, plugged the laptop in, we were fine, charged up, then we drove off into the sun, and Rosie went on the laptop. And uh, later on in the day, she said, oh, the battery's flat, it's not charging, so we presume the inverter was switched off, so we went and turned the inverter on and it wasn't working. So by a power of elimination, um, we tested our extension lead. We've got two uh, power supplies for the laptop, so we checked whether one of those was faulty and they were both fine. Um, We've got a, uh, a little light-up switch that you can put into your 240 volt plug socket and check if it works, and it did. But as soon as you plug in uh, the laptop charger, which has worked for a year, um, it trips all the fuses in the back of the van. So that basically means that we've got no plug socket, no laptop, no charger for laptop, and in other words, we can't charge up the laptop. Um, about to edit a video and I've got to work the next three days which I can't do without a laptop um, because I have to do things uh, that I can only do on, on my laptop not on my phone um, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a shitter really Got no eggs today. Definitely not. You've got a chicken? I have. She stinks of trash food, but I have got a chicken. You're so cute, aren't you? You want to come live on a van? Afternoon, and uh, we're in the south of France, um, in Charente, or the area of Charente, and uh, we're staying at Neil's house, um, and he's asked that we keep the area secret, so there uh, won't be any maps or park night details for the video today. We're we'll staying a few days, and it really is a stunning area. Just going to have a walk through the village now and take some footage so we can show you what it's like. But it's absolutely beautiful around here. 
and uh, the weather's quite warm, uh, sunny and overcast. We've had the drone out and got some lovely footage of sunflowers which are all over this part of France. Some already in flower and uh, some have not long been planted but absolutely beautiful. Um, so uh, let's go on a little walk and we'll show you the village um, and you can see what we're all missing out in this secret French location. Missy carrying the rubbish. Got to be done. I smell those flowers. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm not sure what they are. But little purple flowers. I'm not sure what this beast is, but isn't it beautiful? Pom poms. Lots of floofiness, as Rosie would say. So we'll get rid of our rubbish in a minute. Things are just down this beautiful road. All these beautiful shutters everywhere in France, particularly in this region, that look like they've been there for hundreds of years. I love them, I've got a bit of a shutter fetish myself. And there's Missy putting our rubbish away. Good job done. Gotta get in the right one. And then uh, down here there's a little river, which is stunning as well. Nobody, we didn't, but I think we didn't see which way the wind was blowing, did we? No. <laughs> but I bet if you took it down that end, the wind would change. Yeah. I think it's time for cider. And I've uh, been here, I think, for four days. It's one of the things about living in a van. You do tend to lose track of the days sometimes. Uh, we had a lovely time here. Uh, very, very pleasant, nice weather most of the time. Long evening chats with Neil. And uh, we had dinner with his mum and dad. I cooked a nice paella, which went down well. Um, so that was fun. And then we had a barbecue the night before last, which was lovely outside in the garden. Rosie's had a really nice time playing with their cats, and particularly their four little kittens. She's really, really enjoyed that. Um, so she's helped out cleaning them, looking after them and she's uh, fed the chickens and played with the chickens, really enjoyed uh, staying. That's worth noting that we didn't know Neil before we came here, so we just met metaphorically on Facebook and the old me would have probably not come to Neil's house because you get those kind of uh, paranoid alarm bells, you know, staying with a stranger you've never met before. Um, but uh, in our quest to uh, follow a new way of life and be more open. Uh, having spoke to Neil just a couple of times on Messenger, gave us his address, came to his house and uh, parked up and um, well worth uh, meeting somebody new. So I recommend that you take the time wherever possible to meet as many new people. You never know what experiences you're going to gain and it has been truly lovely. We're going to have a quick look around Neil's van. Neil's a new van lifer. He's currently fitting out his uh, Ford Transit. And I'll ask him all about it because I don't know much about it. And we'll give you a quick look round. So Neil's hoping to set off on September the 1st. And I think Neil's going to be um, hard pushed to get away on September the 1st, aren't you Neil? So we've made a little deal with Neil. So for every day that he's out on the road before September the 1st, I have to buy him a beer. For every day after September the 1st, he has to buy me a beer. So I'm predicting yeah, several crates of beer. Yeah, so Neil says he's planning to go away before September the 1st, so I'll show you around his van and you can let me know in the comments whether you think Neil will be ready on September the 1st. We'll have a little competition. Uh, will Neil be ready to van life full time? and travel to Spain on September the 1st. So let's go and have a quick look in his van and you can tell me what you think. <laughs> so what solar panels have you got in your van, Neil? They're uh, 300 watts. Uh, a friend of mine got them. So 
that you got them for a really good price for me. I think, I'm not sure because new to all of this, but I'm pretty sure they're um, house panels. So is that one 300 watt or two 300 watts? Two watt? 300 watts, yeah. so in turn it's 600 watts. And what about your um, inverter, what size is it? It looks pretty big. It's 2000 watt. That is. And you're powering that because you're a gamer, aren't you? Yeah, so I'm planning on having some gaming equipment in the back, the Xbox and stuff, so I can play online, obviously, connection to the internet permitting. So yeah, I like gaming a lot, so I'll have that all set up in the back, and then the bed will be in the top part, the extensions that I made at the back, because I've raised the roof. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot to go, but there's also a lot of weeks to go. So yeah, I'll put a link into Neil's channel so you can vlog the process and maybe um, anyone you sees on the road, if you're out on the road around September the 1st, they'll get you a beer. Yeah. That could work out quite well, couldn't it? It could be lovely. Yeah. And maybe everyone you see in uh, June of next year, you can buy them a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been teasing you, haven't I? Because I'm saying you're not going to be ready then, but you, you're very confident that you're going to be out on the road then, aren't you? I am, yeah, because things, I, 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 I kind of know where I am in my head and what needs to be done. Um, so, and I think if I was doing it on my own, I would be struggling, but with a little bit of help from my dad, and obviously, as I've mentioned in my videos, a guy called Stefan up the road is helping me out massively, and he's, he knows about this sort of thing. I think I can progress things on really quickly. Well, good luck. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, feel free to ping us with any uh, advice. Yeah. And it's been lovely staying and meeting you. We've had a great time. It's been really lovely. Yeah, no, it's been fantastic. So I look forward to meeting you in Spain or Portugal or somewhere warm a bit later in the summer.